course things getting more difficult as you get older and have children and stuff like that but if you really want to play music and meet your friends you can always find some time to do it i don't have kids party on <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> A lucky punch is obviously a, a punch by someone who cannot fight and he will hit someone and he will be lucky, he will get lucky and um, you know, kind of uh, knock the other one down without even knowing he, he, he's capable of doing that. So um, we didn't know we were capable of doing this and we're still rocking and we still knock everyone out, that's what we do. Almost everybody of us is, uh, has been really into metal the, the first time when we, when we grew up or to maybe for me was, was hard rock music in, in the 80s, 90s and um, metal music and then my musical influence went a little bit back uh, to, to the 70s with bands like I think Thin Lizzy, Deep Purple. I, I, already grew up with Deep Purple and Led Zeppelin and such, such style of music. Of course it would have been very cool to live uh, in the 70s or 60s when there were all those cool bands and musicians and but um, well we're in a different time now and uh, you can still play good rock and roll music nowadays. Well uh, Munich has uh, one big problem that many uh, small stages are being shut down and they're not really being replaced. Uh, so um, it, it's getting a bit hard to put on a small-scale show, which is if you have if, if you have an underground scene, you will have uh, venues. You will need venues that take maybe less than a hundred people or less than two hundred people. I think here in Munich is um, to most people it doesn't really seem to be a rock and roll or a live music place, but um, I think when you take a look at it closer, there's a lot of bands from rock, punk rock, different metal styles. You've got people putting up shows and little festivals, and there are a few clubs to play, so it's not that bad in Munich. You can play rock and roll. In the level that we are, we can pretty much do everything ourselves and um, if there's a cool guy somewhere who wants to book some shows for us or do something good to the band, we're always open of course, but uh, nowadays with internet and uh, stuff like that, you can do a lot of stuff, a lot of promotion by yourself. When my wife met me 12 years ago, I was already a musician, so she knew what she was in for. And there were times when I had uh, a lot to do, and there were times when I didn't have so much to do, but there's always, you know, um, as a musician, you will always have to find ways and means of kind of getting the rent paid. But, uh, you know, you make it work. As you can see, you got uh, some four super cool guys sitting here. <laughs> and um, we're really taking good care of our styles and uh, our fashion. Yeah, no, I'm, uh, <laughs> you know, I've, uh, I'm, re I'm a regular reader of the Vogue, and I know I know what's going on in the fashion business. And um, but since uh, I kind of stand above any type of trend, I will always feel like um, what I have to offer is always better than anything else that's a mainstream or maybe not so mainstream trend at the moment. Right now, we are not playing that much. We all. Uh, we're all busy with our jobs and our families and uh, stuff like that. But, of course, we keep the band going. And um, a year ago, uh, we put out uh, our latest uh, record, uh, Still Shaking, and did two videos for it. And um, now we just keep on going, writing new songs. And I don't know how long it's going to take for a new record, but uh, we're working on it. We're working on it. 